Well guys, it's finally happening. Arbitrum 1 is officially launching in August. Uh, August 31st is the assumed date. So today, we're going to show you actually how to use the testnet so that when the mainnet does come, uh, you'll be ready to go since the process will be fairly similar in that you'll need to be actually uh, using a bridge to take your ETH from the mainnet to layer 1 to layer 2. Uh, in this case, we're going to be taking your tokens that we're actually going to have to get ourselves uh, from the layer 1 Rinkeby to a layer 2 Rinkeby Arbitrum. Um, it's going to be, it's going to sound like a process, but trust me, uh, we're going to make it very easy, okay? Don't you worry. Uh, let's get into it. Now, a little disclaimer before we get started. I do work with Offchain Labs as community slash creative, so uh, take that as what it is. Uh, at the end of the day, this is all funny money anyways. It's a test net, so you shouldn't be dumping any money on any of these stuff anyways. Arbitrum doesn't even have a token. No token. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, like I said, on the mainnet, you'll already have Ether tokens uh, waiting for you, just chilling, because you've probably been using Ethereum already. Um, in this case, since we're going to be using uh, uh, Rinkeby, I assume a lot of you don't even have any uh, tokens on Rinkeby or Ethereum. So the number one thing we're going to do first is going to be uh, using a faucet. All right, so my faucet of choice is uh, faucet.rinkeby.io. There are plenty of faucets that you can use uh, to get Rinkeby Ethereum, uh, Rinkeby ETH. Uh, but, you know, this to me is the most straightforward one, personally. Uh, what I will say as well is uh, before we are even able to kind of, you know, get our Ethereum to the faucet and all that, uh, you want to make sure you have MetaMask installed. I know a lot of you probably already have it, you know, especially if you've been using Ethereum. But just in case if you don't, make sure you download MetaMask over here. It's pretty much just a Chrome browser. And from there, you'll be able to pretty much uh, proceed in getting your Rink of ETH. <clears throat> now, essentially how this works is uh, you can either use Twitter or Facebook in this case, but we'll be using Twitter. Uh, you can make a tweet with your Ethereum address, paste it in the contents, uh, the surrounding text doesn't matter, uh, copy and paste the tweet's URL into the above input box, and press give me ether. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and make a tweet real quick. Let's see uh, if this is right, oh yeah, so this is just pretty much populated a little tweet for me here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy my Ethereum address, and we're gonna go ahead, bam, and tweet. Uh, now, if you value your Twitter timeline as like the sacred thing where you can only tweet solid stuff, or, you know, if someone else sees, if someone sees some dumb stuff that you put up here, and you know, they might not, they might not, may not follow you and all that stuff, then yeah, this may be an issue. Then do it on Facebook, bro. All right, <laughs> or make a Facebook account real quick and just do it real quick. Uh, but you can always delete it afterwards. So what we're gonna do here is actually press this little button, uh, copy link to tweet, and press that or paste it all the way over here. Bam. Uh, you can just ignore that pre-filled stuff there. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, three ethers, seven and a half ethers, or eighteen point seven ethers. Ooh, that's cool. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go for three. I already have some ether. Uh, oh, we gotta do some traffic lights. Great. And bam, as you can see, my little thing popped up right here a few seconds ago. Uh, while it's doing that, let's go ahead and connect to the Rinkeby testnet. So, of course, this is obviously assuming that you are, you already have uh, you know MetaMask installed. Click on Ethereum mainnet and go to Rinkeby. Now. <laughs> You'll see that I have a lot of ETH here, and I think that uh, I actually just received it, didn't I? Uh, oh, wait, no, I already had that. Okay, wow, I have a lot of Rinkeby. <laughs> I have a lot of Rinkeby ETH already. I feel kind of bad taking more. Uh, let's see if it popped up yet. Yeah, okay. I think <laughs> I think it actually already gave it to me, and it, it, was, it already populated the 11.7. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, so you got your ETH ready to go. The next step is going to be the bridge. So right away, you're going to notice that the bridge actually populated for me, like, pretty much like that. Uh, you'll notice I have a bunch of transactions here, too, because I have used the testnet before. Uh, what I will say, too, is that you're going to want to see uh, exactly how much Ethereum you have on the left here. As you can see, I have 11.7 on layer 1 Rinkeby. And then on layer 2 Rinkeby, I actually have almost about 10 Ethereum uh, ETH. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> you know, you boys have been dabbling in the testnet for quite some time. Uh, but what we're going to want to do, actually, uh, before we even start depositing anything, uh, we're going to want to add the Arbitrum Rinkeby testnet to our uh, MetaMask. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, go to the these docs over here. I, I'll put them, of course, in the comments below. Um, you're going to want to copy all this stuff uh, into the MetaMask. So you're going to want to go to the MetaMask little uh, fox here on the top right. Uh, click on the Rinkeby test network. Scroll all the way down. Press on Custom RPC. And just start typing away. So Arbitrum testnet is going to be what you're going to use for the name. A new RPC URL is going to be HTTPS uh, colon forward forward slash, am I saying that right? Rinkeby.arbitrum.io <laughs> slash RPC. 
Uh, you're going to want to type in for the chain ID 421611. Uh, symbol is ETH, and the block explorer I, uh, URL is going to be HTTPS uh, colon forward slash slash rinkaby explorer dot arbitrum dot io uh, forward slash number or hashtag uh, forward slash. Uh, so that should be it. Let me see. Hopefully, I typed everything correctly. And you're going to click on save, and then right away, you'll be able to see the Arbitrum testnet right there. So let's go ahead and go back to the networks, click out of, get out of here, and you'll notice that right away, we're connected to the Arbitrum testnet. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and go back to the bridge. Bam. Uh, and as you can see now, the uh, right side is highlighted, so I, I'm actually able to withdraw my ETH to uh, Layer 1 Rinkaby, but of course, we're going to want to do the opposite. So go to the Rinkaby testnet. There we go. And it should take a little while to populate. Uh, I think maybe it's because, there you go, bam, okay, good. So we're gonna wanna deposit some ETH. Now this should be pretty much straightforward. Let's go ahead and deposit five ETH on my end. Uh, press deposit. And you'll see a whole bunch of uh, information here about the gas fees and all that stuff. Press confirm. Gas fees are pretty low, by the way, interesting. And you know, you'll know you get a little transaction ID down here. And as soon as it completes, uh, the ETH should show up on layer two, uh, Arbitrum Rinkeby. So let's actually go ahead and get on there right now, uh, just so we can anticipate it arriving. Look, at the, it already left my Rinkeby test network uh, wallet. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Arbitrum one. And I, I should end up having about 14.9995 or something like that. All right, so now that we finally have some funds on the Arbitrum Rinkeby testnet, uh, we can finally start tinkering with some different dApps that are available. Uh, two that I'm from actually familiar with are uh, Cap Finance and Dopex. Uh, Uniswap is also available, uh, but there aren't really any tokens to swap with and probably no liquidity either. So, you know, there really, really isn't really any point besides just looking at the beautiful UI. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at Dopex and Cap real quick. Um, again, your boy is definitely nowhere near, okay, an expert at all. So, you know, if anyone is from Dopex or Cap watching this, I apologize in advance. Anyways, uh, so Dopex does have a couple things that you can kind of test out over here, uh, including the options uh, for ETH and Bitcoin, which again, I am not a <laughs> not familiar with at all, really. Uh, they have pools over here for Ethereum uh, and wrapped Bitcoin, uh, as well as a portfolio page that kind of shows you everything with a nice, beautiful UI, actually, I must say. A very nice UI. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the pool. Let me go ahead and deposit some Ethereum here. Um, can I put in the max amount of ETH? I can put a call on Ethereum. Should I do it? Let's put a call. Let's put a hundred. <laughs> not financial advice. Let's put a hundred hundred ETH call. Um, I, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> Confirm this. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can turn this a uh, test net. Uh, you know, test net uh, ETH into a uh, you know a lot of uh, a lot more test net ETH. And I'm not going to bore you guys with this stuff. Uh, if you do want to actually uh, try out the options and the different stuff that Dopex has to offer, feel free to go ahead and uh, come to testnet.dopex.io to take a look. The next one is going to be Cap Finance, and it's funny, I was just looking at this page before I'm recording it, and I realized that, I'm like, I don't have any die. what happened to my die? Because I knew I bridged some over earlier. Uh, and it turns out I forgot that I actually have a position open <laughs> on Cap Finance. Um, I don't know if I'm in the positive or the negative, but let me see if I, uh, can I close it here? Margin, margin to close? Oh yeah, dude, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but just to be clear, uh, Cap Finance is a decentralized trading protocol that allows you to go long or short on stocks, commodities, cryptos, and more using DAI. All that read at the bottom of the page. Uh, so shout out to Cap for uh, having this beautiful, uh, you know, like very straightforward platform. I think there's many ways that you can kind of take UI. Uh, you can go for that nice, luxurious, beautiful look. You can go for the very simplistic, easy to use look. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Um, so I, I do appreciate the differences in UI that we're actually going through right now. Uh, but yeah, if you uh, do end up finding out how to get DAI on CAP, uh, let me know down in the comments below, or if you're even from CAP, you can let us know too. Um, I know I got it on here before, I just honestly forgot how. Uh, but taking a look at the next one is going to be Uniswap. Uh, and as you can see, this looks, this looks really good. I'm not like, like In terms of the branding, um, I am a sucker for beautiful branding, um, and they, they really uh, did very they, they did Arbitrum nice here. I'm not going to lie to you, but look at this. Uniswap and Arbitrum Rinkaby. Deposit your Arbitrum Rinkaby, obviously. Little, you've really just seen the logo here multiple times. This makes me feel good. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty much regular Uniswap, but on Arbitrum. Uh, you can throw in the max there. As I said <laughs> earlier, there really are no tokens for you to kind of trade for uh, since, you know, uh, I mean, I guess there are, I'm sure there are tokens, obviously, that's DAI and, and all those other ones on the testnet, 
Uh, it's just that I don't think there's really any pools for it, per se. So you really can't do much with it other than just look here and just admire the beauty. <laughs> That's really it. <laughs> I do actually want to show you, though, real quick, uh, the confirmation time and all this other stuff. Uh, really just kind of, I really want to show you like how snappy it is. So let's say I want to wrap what I want to wrap one Ethereum, right? Let's go ahead and select wrapped Ethereum. Uh, as you can see, there is wrapped Ethereum here. I mean, I mean, obviously I can wrap it. So let's go ahead and wrap that Ethereum real quick. Uh, very cheap, obviously confirm. And you see right away, it wraps it like right away. So, you know, that was, that's one thing about, uh, optimistic rollups. I think that's common is that the confirmation times tend to be like that, like really, really quick. Uh, so, you know, if for nothing else, you kind of just like want to come on to the rink, the rink could be arbitrary rink could be test net just to kind of feel, get to feel like how the transaction kind of flow. It's, it's, it's a really nice feeling. Trust me. It really is. Especially when you're used to, uh, uh, like how slow the confirmation times on our Ethereum and pretty much almost any other chain <laughs> to be honest with you. And just to be clear, there may be more apps on the, uh, test net. These are just the ones that I'm immediately familiar with. Uh, so, you know, is what it is. Uh, if you do know of any more dApps, actually let, let us know down below so we can uh, take a look and try them out. Uh, but something else I do want to also uh, shout out here too is the uh, Rinkaby uh, Explorer. Uh, just in case you want to go ahead and track your transactions, throw your address in here. You know, I didn't think about it. Let's get it, let's throw my address in here. What am I? What have I been up to? Honestly, I haven't even bothered looking. Let's see. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's see. Populating a little bit. I wonder if I can update my little uh, little profile picture there. And as you can see, I've been degening quite a bit over here. I do like that it, that it says uh, like how much I have in layer one and layer uh, you know layer two. Uh, this is of course layer one rank be as well, so that's not real layer one, unfortunately. <laughs> that that'd be kind of nice, right? Uh, but yeah, so this is just another tool that you can use if you're going to be using the uh, rank be test net. All right, guys. So uh, until mainnet does come out uh, again, I do highly recommend you uh, take some time, hang on to the test net, and just really get a feel of what it's going to be like to be using uh, layer two uh, arbitrum one when it does come out. As you guys know, it's slated to come out in August, so we're just going to assume August 31st. Uh, as you can see, A is for Arbitrum, A is for August. If you haven't read this, go ahead and take a look. Your boy was behind the, uh, the the meme over here, okay? Yes, I did make this meme. It took me a couple minutes the other day, but, you know, I, I truly feel like we're really going to be sliding right into Arbitrum 1 as soon as it comes out. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, all the links I mentioned will be down below. Uh, and as well, leave me a comment if you haven't already. Uh, will you be using Arbitrum 1 when it comes out? And if you will be, let me know what dApps you're going to be interested in using. We did mention that a couple of them, actually quite a bit of them, are going to be on there uh, as soon as it launches. So um, it's actually going to be a hard choice to find out which one you're going to want to use first. But let me know down below. That being said, thank you guys for watching, and um, catch you on the next one. Peace out.